We are off to see the wizard. No, I'm just kidding. We're <laughs> off to see the ruins, and I am downloading Audio, A-U-T-I-O. It is a wonderful app. It tells you all about everything there is to know, every area that you travel in, and it was co-founded by Kevin Costner. And it's just, if you love history, you love historical sites, I, I just, it's a pay app, but it is so worth it. You ready to go see some ruins? I am. What are they? Homolo... If we're saying it right, Homolovi or Homolavi or Homolovi. <laughs> There's a bunch of different ways to say it. And, and um, I, I mean no disrespect to the indigenous. I wish I knew how to say yeah. it properly. And uh, maybe we'll learn on the tour. Okay, let's do it. All right. Andy, what is it? You see the cow? Huh? You see the cow? You oh. want to go see the cow? <laughs> There's a cow. Mm. Moo. You see the cow? Don't jump out. They're not going to say anything, huh? He says, well, you turn the camera on. I got to quit talking when you turn the camera on. Don't jump on. out. So there's the ruins. That's it. That wall. That's not. <laughs> I think it's that way. Removal or damage? Yeah. Let's go visit. Oh. Let's go visit the special, special, special stuff first. The special stuff. Jackrabbit. Big ears. Look at this sign. Quicksand. I've never seen quicksand before. I guess that's quicksand. I would say we are walking on it. These are pottery, what do you call them? Pottery sh shards. <laughs> Very cool. See the pottery? Oh, yeah. Look at the texture on that one. Oh, All right, I wish I knew how to pronounce this properly for the indigenous, but Homolovi 2 is a almost a half mile paved trail and it allows access to the largest of the park's archeological sites containing an estimated 1,200 to 2,000 rooms. I, the one we just left, Homolobi One, was huge. It is believed that these pueblos were once home to ancestors of the present day Hopi people. Much of this activity took place during the 14th century. Hopi migration stories, architecture, pottery styles, and art motifs tie the Hopi to the inhabitants of Homolobi. Sammy's not very embraced. She's sleeping. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. In the high grassland of 14th century northern Arizona, that means we were just walking on pueblos built in the 13th century. Mind blowing. Anyway, an ancient people found a home along the Little Colorado River. Hence the quicksand, Jana. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
these people, and again, I don't mean to butcher the name, the Hasat Sanom, paused in their migrations to till the rich floodplain and sandy slopes before continuing north to join people already living on the mesas. Those people today are known as the Hopi, and the Hopi still migrate to make, pilgrim make pilgrimages to these sites. They say one day the Bahana will follow when he returns. As we start to walk towards the village of Homolomitu, we should take a moment to review the history of this place. Most of the other rooms on the site have been refilled with dirt so that the fragile walls can be preserved. <laughs> 